Today, police investigators began tracing the path of every bullet to make sure that they were fired by this man, 41-year-old James Oliver Huberty, identified as the gunman. They want to be sure that only one police round went into the restaurant, the one that killed Huberty to end the slaughter. His car was found in the parking area, bullets left behind on the seat. Relatives and friends during the night and today have identified the dead. 20 victims were killed. A preliminary report from the coroner said that Huberty had not been drinking. It'll take several days to test for other drugs. He lived in an apartment with his wife and daughter, only 100 yards from the restaurant where the shootout took place. As he walked in, he ordered everybody in the restaurant to lay on the floor. And they did, complied with this. This includes employees and patrons. At that time, uh, according to witnesses who did escape, uh, he proceeded to start systematically shooting people, walking up and down the aisles and shooting the victims. The McDonald's restaurant in San Ysidro is pockmarked with bullet holes and surrounded by investigators. It will be the scene of intense investigation for the next few days as officials try to piece together the story behind the worst single-day massacre by a gunman in recent American history. Roy Neal, NBC News, Los Angeles.